Hello YouTube, it is Makeup Vixen 13 and I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial. This is the look. It's a natural eye. I have the semi-natural and that one is natural shadows but it's heavier in liner. This one barely in liner. So let's go ahead and get started. So I ran out my Urban Decay Primer Potion so I'm using my concealer as primer. Today is 4th of July and I'm not doing anything special. I'm not, I'm not really a celebrator of this holiday. I just. Maybe I just don't put it. And you're gonna put some underneath your eye. And so just rub all that in. And I'm just gonna create the flat foundation. And then you're going to take a cream shadow. I'm using this color. I'm gonna use some that. I'm gonna think it's like, I'm just gonna go right there and work it way up to the brow bone. And so, this is that. I'm using my Mark Mega Palette. It's the, um, what palette is this? Oh, it's the Sydney palette. That's what it looks like. I'm using my new eyeshadow brush by Studio Tools. That's what I'm going to go into that color. Tap off the excess. And I'm going to go right on the volume. Right on the volume of your eye. Just like that. And I'm just gonna pat it on. Okay. Then I'm taking my crease brush by Essence of Beauty, this one. And I'm just gonna unharsh another line. Because I don't like harsh lines. Okay. So next, I'm going to take. I forgot what palette this was, but. Taking this brown in there with my Studio Tools fluffy brush, and I'm gonna go into the brown, and I'm going to work this on the crease. And go all the way up to the brow bone. So it's how switch look right now. And then you're going to take this dark brown color in the palette. And I believe this one is nomadic. Yeah, I think this is nomadic. So you're gonna take that with the same brush. And right at the corner, you're gonna go and just gonna blend that in. I feel like this one's darker. Alright, perfect. Take the same brush you use for your eyeshadow. Any eyeshadow brush. And we're gonna go into this white color on the CoverGirl palette. And you can use vanilla by MAC. 
it's the same color. You can go into your bath bone. I'm just gonna blend out that line. And so that's how the shadow will look. And next, you're gonna line your eyes. And when I do a natural look, like as natural as this is, I um don't line the bottoms at all. So this is how I do it. I go. I just very close to the lash line just like that and then I even go all the way around. I just go on the outer corner just like that and then I'm taking my cover girl lash blast I'm going to apply my mascara Take bottom lids too. Just like so. And next, what you're going to do is you're going to take this brush. You're going to go, or no, you're going to take your eyeshadow brush. You're going to go into that dark color you use on the outer corner, the nomadic. I'm just going to go on the lash line. My eyes are tearing up now. And you're just going to go just like that. So you guys are going to I'm going to show you how to do the lips. So just take any regular chat stick. This thing is so chapped. And I'm taking this by Mark. It's pineapple. And it has like gold freckles. So your shadow will pop. And make your shadow pop very much so. And you go right there. And your lips. And last but not least, I'm going to take this flips open to another to lip palette. As you can see, I use my lips up a lot. So you're going to go into this gold color that I have some pencil shaving in. And you're just going to go right over there. And this is the look. I'm trying something different with my hair. It's like parted on the middle and pulled up and my bangs are sitting on the side because they've grown out a lot, which I'm happy about. It's like the length I usually like them at. So they're grown out. They're down here now. And I'm breaking out on my cheek. So that's kind of gross. But no. So this is the look. Here's the lips. And that's about it. Um, so, happy 4th of July. Hopefully if I post it today, which is 4th of July, I could say 4th of July and 4th of July. But no, um, that's it. I don't want to make this video too long. And you don't have to use the brown in the corner, but I just like it to add a little bit more definition to it. And that's about it. So have a nice day.